In this video, I will show you how to create a slider in Dreamweaver, which was inspired by Elena in the post shown here. Let's take a look. This is a sample of what one of the templates may look like. We'll be taking a look at how to install, implement, and customize one of the many templates included. In most versions of Dreamweaver, we're going to use the Adobe Extension Manager. Once it is installed, we see it available. This would also give us a chance to remove it, read more about it, and or update when necessary. To place the slider, we make sure we have Dreamweaver open. I have my sample page. I've chosen a background color for the page. And now I will add the power slider. Wherever the mouse pointer happens to be, that's where the power slider will be added. We'll go ahead and add the power slider. We can find this in typically one of two locations. I can find it on my insert under the DW Power Slider 2, or we can go to insert and we'll locate it here as well. Either way is equally fine. Go ahead and use this technique. And then I am presented with a choice of templates. I'll go ahead and look at some of the templates that are available and then choose one. Each one gives you some sample imagery. Of course, you'll be replacing this with your own ultimately. Here's one I'm interested in. And now I'm going to customize it. One of the first choices I'm given is how do I want the slider content to resize? Do I want it to be the same or do I want it to change depending on each device we might use? I'll choose media queries, customize content for each device. Then we have an opportunity to adjust each of the individual slides. Currently, this particular template had four slides. If I didn't need four slides, we simply take the slide, for example, four, and we have an opportunity to delete the slide. We'll also delete slide three. Two slides are all I'm interested in at this moment. And each of the items on the slide can then be customized. For example, the text, your headline here, I can simply highlight. And also replace the text in the paragraph as well. We don't have to keep everything that is part of the template. If I don't wish to have a button, I simply have the button selected and we'll have an opportunity to make changes to the button, uh, copy and paste style. This is extremely helpful if I change the look of this button and I want to use those same features on another slide. But in this case, I'd like to delete the button. And then there's an image in the lower right corner and there is an animation related to this. We can temporarily play that animation to see what that might look like. I may then double click upon the image and replace it with one of my own. So I've uploaded other imagery and I could go ahead and replace that. And we can adjust more image settings by deciding, for example, which devices that it's going to be available on. We can also adjust the width, height, and where the image is placed. Is the image in the center, to the right, at the top, or I could just manually move it where I want it to be. That's acceptable as well. We have the animation. Currently, this one had a big slide from bottom, and I could change that and instead decide that it should slide from the left and then play it and see what that might look like. We can also adjust the background of the individual item, its box properties, including the padding, borders. I could go ahead and choose that there be a solid border of some sort, and we can make it a specific width. We also then can adjust and make rounded edged corners, one of my favorites. And maybe not all the corners the same, maybe just two of them. 
adding a very nice dynamic look. Your call, your choice, very easy to customize. Let's look at slide two. Slide two also has some placeholders. Here, again, we can change the, the title. And again, change the image. And we can have more than one image. Let's say we have one small image here. I may also want to go in and add another image. We can do that. Truly no right or wrong. You can go ahead and have as many images as you like. I may also add, at any given point, extra text elements as well. These images also may benefit from extra attention to, for example, to how the corners are rounded. And also, maybe we don't need a border, but I might want a shadow, and you can enable that shadow as well. The good news is, once I've applied that style, I can go ahead and copy the style and then paste the style from one image to another, making it very effective, efficient, and easy to have consistency throughout each and every slide. Looks good, I'm happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and insert. I will save my page, and then we'll preview. And here is a sample. I didn't quite customize all the aspects and elements of it, but I do begin to see the changes that I've made. We see the efficiency of having the effects that match. And also note, you don't always have to have absolutely everything animated. Keep it simple, keep it efficient, keep it clean, and you too can make very quick, easy layouts interesting sliders that can be the whole design or part of your design. Thank you again, Elena, for inspiring this video. And do please check out other posts at the link shown below.